Right, let's talk a little bit about the pivot transformation within EDF data flow. I'm going to walk through a real quick demo of how you would use it and why you'd want to use pivot. So let me start with a fresh brand new uh, data flow. And I'm going to call this data flow as pivot flow, just for a demo purpose. And we're going to add a uh, source transform. So source transform is going to use a CSV file of products, which is coming from the uh, SQL Server um, AdventureWorks data. So I'll put the link to my CSV output from that table in the link on this video so that you can play with the data in the pivots transformation as well. So this is a CSV file. So let's take a look at the contents of that, um, of that file so we can look at the data and we can determine what we need to do with it and how Pivot can help. Now, in this case, I have my, uh, within my data flow, I've already turned on my debug. So I'm hooked up to Databricks and I can uh, then interactively debug, troubleshoot, and work with my data as I build my transformation. So again, this is from AdventureWorks. So you see the product ID identifying the um, as the primary key for the product. And then we also have the name as a string we have a product number, a color, standard cost, and size, and list price. There's a few other columns in there, but I don't, I'm not going to worry about those for what I need to do here. What I want to do with this data is that I want to get the average cost of every different color of product. So the standard cost is right here, and for black, it's 1059. Uh, for this product, for this product, which is red, it's also 1059. Um, this product is white, it's $3, for blue it's 13 so on and so forth. So I want to be able to get the average, and I'm going to pivot that data by taking these different row values, turning those into metadata, into columns that can have the average by color, and I can group those together by size. So it's going to give me a very uh, unique way to be able to provide an aggregation by average of color and group by size. So I can do that all together in one simple step with pivot without needing to write the code for this or to do multiple uh, different aggregations. So let's go ahead and add pivot onto this data. Now one thing I want to do want to show you that I did do before recording the demo is um, on the schema for the data. Now CSVs get read in as strings automatically. And so what I did was I changed two of these, um, actually I only changed one, take that back, of the columns that I'm going to work with, which is standard cost. I made that a decimal because I'm going to do some math operations on that data. So I, I need it to be, I need to cast it to the appropriate data type. So I'm using decimal. And so you'll see the data coming in from standard cost again look a little bit more like money as opposed to you know this price which I haven't converted to a decimal. Alright, let's start pivoting the data. So like I said, I want to group by the size. So this will give me the groupings of the average by color grouped by size. Now, if I wanted to, I could um, create a computed column in here as well. I don't have to just pick a column name. So if I wanted to, let's say, you know, group by uh, a different column that doesn't already exist in my source data, I could say, give me the grouping of size plus color. And I'm going to group by that. But just for this demonstration, I'm going to just pick size and just stick with size. And so the name as the alias for that column is the same. When you do, when you create a computed column, you'll want to create an alias for that as well. It's going to make you do that. Now I'm pivoting. Uh, I'm taking the values of color. I'm going to turn those each into a um, column value. So each row value will be turned into a column value, value, essentially data into metadata. If I only wanted certain colors like black, red and so on I can explicitly define those here but I'm gonna just say turn everything into columns <laughs> alright now we are going to decide what aggregation we're going to use so uh, I'm going to use average and I'm going to do the average of the standard cost very simple calculation beautiful I could give that a um, an optional name, and that's fine. I'll do that. I'll give it AVG. 
And let's take a look at what that looks like here in the data preview. So again, I'm in debug mode in uh, data flow. So I can just click this and it'll calculate that and give me the, um, give me back the values of my pivot in real time. All right, let's take a look, look at what we got. So we have some null values, which is understandable because not every product had an associated size. It may not be um, applicable to that product type. <clears throat> and we also, so here we got the, um, the word values turned into columns, black, blue, gray, multi, null again, not every product has a color and red. And I, I used AVG for the alias for my average. And so it prepended that to um, each of the values from the columns. So let's clean it up a little bit. Let's go back into the pivot settings and uh, we will give you some options for what you can do with this alias. So let's say I wanted to, I didn't like it being camel case like that. I didn't like it just kind of being attached like that. So let's say I wanted to put an underscore um, in the middle. And then let's say at the end, I just wanted to do something like, I want to say this is a calculated value for some, for whatever reason. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's re-preview and let's see what that looks like now here in our data. All right, so there we got the underscore in the middle and we um, appended underscore calculated to the end. So you can get kind of interesting with the way that you name the columns that get created. All right, one other thing I want to do real quick for you here is um, I get a little bit kind of, I don't know, I just have this thing about having null within these values. And so um, because these are turned into uh, metadata and then into values, I want to change those into NA because that would be not necessarily, even though the values are null, when I'm looking at this data from an analytics perspective, I want to know that it was just not appropriate, not applicable for that product type. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to add a derived column in here. Now I could just add this into the, um, it's um, now invalid because I've, I've added a transform that I haven't configured yet. But what I do want to show you is I could also do a lot of what I'm going to do here uh, within each of these settings. So when I do a computed column in here, I could um, create this modified size and take out the nulls right there. But I'm going to show you how to do it in drive columns so we can look at other transformations for this demo. So I want to modify size to take out the nulls. And I also wanted to take the nulls out of color. So I'm going to just choose the actual columns here. I'm not going to create new columns. I'm going to modify the existing columns. Very simple formula to be able to take out the nulls. I'm going to do if. And we're going to look at, and the first one we're doing size. So we say size. And actually, let me go back here. We're going to say is null. And in case those values are actually being read as string nulls, I also want to protect against that. So I'm going to say, or if size is equal to the actual string of null. So if, if either of those are true, I want to just produce NA as the output. And if it's not true, then just give me the original size value. And that'll be fine. That should take care of what I want to do. Now, do the exact same thing for color. If is null for color. Or color is a string representation of null. In either case, we're going to output NA. And if that's not true, then we're going to output the color. So now we've put some protection in there. We've cleaned up the values uh, for, um, oops, I just realized that I put a single equal instead of w equals. So there we go. Okay, now um, I'll show you this sort of as a troubleshooting kind of step. So you see that it's telling me that uh, it has to, it's expecting a string value here, but it's, um, but it is, actually producing any. So what's happening here is that color is actually coming in as any instead of string. So I can go ahead and save and finish this. And back in my um, in my source, I just need to change that from a string, uh, from any to a string. So I can do my casting right here. I could also do casting in drive column, but I'm going to do it there. So that should clear the error. The error is cleared. The error is cleared. And the error is clear. Now we can preview in debug and we can see if I have a nicer looking set of data with NA in there instead of any or instead of null. And there we go, NA and there we go in our column. Now the nulls of course are still the values of the calculations which makes sense. But now I, I have it here on my metadata. So now I can see the um, average of standard cost across 
my different colors uh, grouped by different sizes. Okay, so that's a look at the pivot control.